So August is over, September is here, which means we have the August Digibyte update to go over and we have a month of things to talk about with Digibyte. We're also gonna take a look at some price action and some technical analysis toward the end of this video. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and stay tuned to the end of the video. But first, this video is brought to you by none other than Webull. Guys, if you haven't downloaded Webull yet, use the link in the top pinned comment or the link in the description, download Webull, deposit any amount of money once you download it using the link in the description or the top pinned comment and you can get 12 free, up to 12 free fractional shares of any stock that is valued up to $36,000, guys. That is crazy. You can get up to 36 grand in this promotion once you download Webull using the link and deposit any amount of money. So go ahead and take advantage of that while you can. And also, guys, welcome back if you've seen me before, but if you're new here, Go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button to join this little family we have growing guys. We're gonna go ahead and hop into the computer and dive right into this information, all right? First things first, guys, we're gonna take a look at coinmarketcap.com. The price is sitting a little above one cent. Digibyte right now is ranked number 147 when it comes to market cap on coinmarketcap.com, right? We are up 27% on the 24 hour volume, which is pretty nice on the 24 hour chart, or well, on the 24 hour price, we're up 1.44%. Market cap, we're up 1.5%. And again, circulating supply, you guys know we have 21 billion coins, but we're only at 15 billion coins, so we're right under 75% uh, full for the circulating supply. And of course, $1 would get you roughly 94 digibyte tokens or digibyte coins, right? Uh, I just wanted to show you, you know, where we're sitting at with the price and all that, because it's been a while since we just take a, took a look at the price and, and where we're sitting at at the ranking. Uh, real quick, the market cap for the entire crypto market is under 1 trillion, right under 1 trillion. Bitcoin dominance 38% and Ethereum is 19.6%. That's crazy. So it's, uh, it's more than half the percent or close to half the percent of, um, the Bitcoin dominance. So yeah, keep a lookout for the Ethereum merge. Uh, two dates is September 6th, and that's not the merge, but that's something that goes along with it. And then September 15th is supposed to be the merge date, right? But enough of that, let's go ahead and uh, jump on the Twitter page for Digibyte. So if you guys don't know, Digibyte has an official Twitter page. And uh, this is where I get a lot of information from. Uh, again, they pin every, uh, August or every update, and this is the August update, they pin it at the very top, but you can just scroll through and see different things that they post here, people that things that are tagged in, and it's, it's pretty neat. I like using Twitter as a tool for different companies and different uh, blockchains, right? But again, if you don't follow me on Twitter, here is my Twitter handle. Go ahead and follow me on there. Um, I try to stay pretty active on there, and if you wanna reach out to me, you can reach out to me on there, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check out the Digibyte August update. And then we're gonna take a look at some technical analysis after that. So, Digibyte update, we're gonna go ahead and see Change Angel announced their Digibyte cashback program. When you exchange DGB, you can receive more DGB. Check it out if you're interested in finding out more, which is pretty awesome. Check out Change Angel, the cashback Digibyte program. So once you exchange Digibyte or move Digibyte on there, you can get some back, right? It's like an incentive program. And we'll go ahead and scroll down and check this out, guys. Shout out, shout out to the Digibyte team for putting me on here. It's it's a, a big deal to me that you guys did this. I appreciate you. I hope you're watching this video. I'm going to keep making these videos for you, for the community, for everyone who supports DGB. So if you need a rehash of the July Digibyte update, check out Michael Romero's video. Great way to learn about everything that was going on last month. And again, I'm gonna continue to make these videos and break down what I find is important. Again, this isn't that important, but might as well do a little harmless self-promotion, right? So scroll down a little bit more. Now Payments announced that businesses can now sell subscriptions in Digibyte. Okay, so you can also, they have also released an article about how to accept Digibyte donations on Twitch, which I find is pretty cool. You can now, tip your favorite Twitch streamers in Digibyte if they have it set up, which I find is pretty dope. And you can now pay for subscriptions in Digibyte. Certain subscriptions, anyway. So, 
So scrolling down some more, we can see uh, Beta Syndicate Magazine did a wonderful review on Digibyte. So again, we are seeing definitely a lot of different things happen throughout the month. Each month, people are writing articles, making videos, and things are happening within the blockchain and the outer workings of the blockchain, right? Like this, the Digibyte Alliance are among finalists at the Security Innovation Challenge in Washington, D.C. on September 29th. This is a wonderful way to showcase Digibyte and the technology behind it, which is pretty awesome. So you can see them pitch live on September 29th in Washington, D.C. before government agencies, Homeland Security Technology, Consortium, HS Tech, and leading, and leading corporate partners, Security Innovation Challenge. And this has been going on for quite a, a while, right? Um, skip back a couple of videos on DGB that I did and they have been talking about this. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. They're among the finalists. So it's good to see Digibyte Alliance really, really bringing the technology Digibyte blockchain to the forefront. Number nine, Digibyte is part of the UTXO Alliance and the Komodo team is planning hard for the future. Such an awesome team. We can see a picture of them here. Scrolling down a little more, we can see that uh, Digibyte has been added to the Arctic wallet. Great to see another solution to store your assets. They also did an interview with community member Shane, which is definitely worth the read. So you can go ahead and check that out here. Welcome to Digibyte in Arctic Wallet family. So it's good to see Digibyte more accessible on different wallets, different platforms, different, uh, different projects, right? That's what we want to see more growth and more opportunity to buy, sell, trade, and hold Digibyte. Google has expanded their conversion calculator and now includes Digibyte. Coindesk has a Digibyte price feed also. Wonderful to see the blockchain show up on mainstream sources, and I agree. The more we see this show up on mainstream sources, the more it will become publicized, talked about, and the more backing we can get for Digibyte and the blockchain. So we have Digibyte was listed in an article as one of the coins that should not be overlooked. Nice to see more recognition of value from a long-term view and I totally agree. Go ahead and take a look at this article. Go read this article if you haven't done so guys. And last but not least we have it's been a long time in the making but we wanted to thank the entire Binance US team for listing Digibyte. This is a fantastic option in the US to buy and sell Digibyte. So Digibyte is finally on Binance, on Binance US. It's good to see that. This is probably the biggest thing, right? Aside from obviously Digibyte talking about me on this update, but the biggest, most important thing here to me personally, besides again, from that, Alliance going to the finals or being some of the finalists for us, uh, September 29th and this here two biggest things um, Binance is one of the biggest Platforms throughout the world, right? Uh, but Binance US has now been able to uh, Support Digibyte you could now buy sell and hold Digibyte on Binance, which is amazing to see uh, We want to continue to see things like this large mainstream blockchains or mainstream uh, systems being able to implement Digibyte and buy and sell and list it, right? But enough of that, that is all we have for the August update. Let's go ahead and take a look at a little bit of technical analysis. There is not much, not a whole lot has happened over the past month or so. Okay, so we have August here and this is the four hour chart. We can see it has pretty much just consolidated and consolidated just trading sideways and sideways pretty much. Um, after we come down, you know, we hit the support here over, over, but now we're in this range and I just wanna show you, we do have a new smaller support area and a new smaller um, resistance line that we're gonna draw here. So I wanna show you in this area here, we are hitting some support, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and say from here to here, Color change of red, we can see we bounce here and bounce here. We can probably move this up just a little bit in this area. So this is our new little uh, support line we are riding, right? Support line that we are riding. As you can see, we are under the 200 day moving average and we are under our support line here, meaning that uh, we are pretty much gonna see a small downtrend in the making, but let's go ahead and look at the MACD to verify if that is actually what's gonna happen. So it's not actually happening at this very moment. As far as the four hour chart goes, 
we just hit into a upward trend, but looking at the days, we can see we're still in a downtrend, but we are very, very close to crossing. We're touching, we're very close to crossing and swapping into an uptrend. So that's actually pretty good to see. Now, if we take a look at the chart itself in the day pattern, we can see same system, same setup. We're below the 200 day moving average. We're below this resistance, uh, this support line. We're below this resistance line. And this is our new support, our new short term support, right? And we just bounce off of it and we're trending up very, very small trend upward. But I don't think anything is really going to happen over the next few weeks uh, up until October. I don't think we're going to see much movement. Maybe if September brings a lot of things with the Ethereum merge, we might see some movement in this. But as for now, I don't think I think we'll continue to either trade sideways and move up or down just a little bit, guys. So yeah, well, that's all we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm and hit that little red subscribe button to join this family, guys. If you haven't done so, go ahead and collect your free stocks using the link in the top pinned comment and the link in the description. Follow me on Twitter and shout out to Digibyte and all the people who put me on the Heat August update. I appreciate you so much for that. It means quite a lot. It means quite a lot to me uh, to get recognition like that. So I appreciate you. But uh, guys, if you want to continue your journey with me, go ahead and click one of these videos. I'm going to get out of here. Peace, love, and prosperity.